Newcastle and Sunderland have one of the biggest rivalries in club football, and it's all thanks to a single riot. Named after the rivers both cities are situated on, the Tyne and Ware Derby represents the animosity between the cities that began during the English Civil War. But how did tensions seep into football? Both sides were set to face off in Newcastle on a bank holiday in 1901. Because everyone had the day off work, 120,000 fans showed up to the contest at St. James's Park, which could only hold 30,000 spectators. Fans from both sides climbed walls, sat on roofs, and got hostile with each other prior to the game. 120,000 fans in a 30,000 seat stadium with only 25 Newcastle police officers? You do the math. The pitch was littered with people when it was time for kickoff, so the match was called off, ensuing a riot between Sunderland and Newcastle supporters. Goalposts were torn down and fences were used as weapons. It took two hours to clear out the rampage. Today, both Newcastle and Sunderland are miles away from each other on the pitch and haven't faced off since 2016. Do you want your club to play their rival every season or have them relegated?